Hello, and welcome to this tutorial from My Porch Prints on Etsy. My name is Ben Sanders, and today I will be walking you through several steps of the purchase process in our Etsy store. We will be covering areas such as shop navigation, purchasing, and downloading your files. We will also include links to these sections below the video for your convenience. We're going to start with the navigation process of the My Porch Prints store. For today's tutorial, I will be using the web browser Google Chrome to do all of my searching and navigating on our Etsy page. We have found that it is very stable and works for most of the tasks that we are trying to do. To begin, we will go to our Etsy homepage, click on the search bar and type in My Porch Prints. And right below that, you will see that it will ask you if you meant the shop My Porch Prints. If you click on that link, it will actually take you to our home page. I encourage you to do this because there are some really easy navigational items that you can utilize rather than trying to search blindly through the entire Etsy store. If you use this search box at the top, you will be searching all of the entire Etsy database. If you scroll down below the My Porch Prints logo, you will see that there is a search items box. Within that box, you can type in generic terms like ephemera that will show you all of the products in our shop that contain ephemera or are specifically ephemera based. But this is a very general term and I would encourage you to utilize some of these tabs below that are more specific or to type in a more specific term here. For instance, I could type in Santa Claus if I wanted something that was Christmas based and had Santa in it. Or I could simply go down to the predetermined categories below and click on the Christmas tab, which will give me all of the different Christmas related products within our shop. We also put special categories here for clearance items. These are all of the items that we have on clearance, new items, specific to cards, different themes related to holidays. Feel free to browse through all of these categories to find specific items of your interest. I would also highly recommend that you favorite our shop to make it easier to find in the future, as well as creating a shortcut to our shop in your browser toolbar. To do that, simply click the icon next to the URL and drag it over onto your toolbar and it will automatically place the shortcut to our store in that location. If I'm in a different location, I can simply click that icon and it will take me right back to the home page where I can go directly to my search items. I would now like to walk through the process of purchasing items from our Etsy shop. Here we will also use the shopping cart to purchase multiple items and to take advantage of our coupon codes. To begin, I will go under my account information and I will click on the account settings option to verify my email address with this account. Some users have multiple accounts available and we wanna make sure we're in the right one that we wanna to use to make purchases from My Porch Prints. I will now click back and we'll go shopping. For this example, I will go through some of the new items in our shop and I will add them to my shopping cart. Simply click on the item, then click on the add to cart option. Now I have one item in my shopping cart. My next step will be to go back and to continue to shop for other items. We'll click on this shabby sweet purple papers. We'll add that to the cart. Now, instead of going back, if I prefer, I can use the link that I had created earlier up in my toolbar. It'll take me right back to the home page. I can click on new items and I can continue shopping. We'll go ahead and add the basic essentials to our cart. As I'm adding items, I am continuing to watch my total. We'll be able to use the first coupon option here shortly once we've hit the $10 threshold. I'll 
add this item to the cart. And I'm now at $12.95. Please keep in mind, if you're not from the United States, it is possible that you will have an exchange rate that you'll have to be aware of as you are adding items to your cart to ensure that you have reached the right amount for our coupon to be effective. Scrolling to the top of the page, I can see that I have the 10% off $10 with this coupon code for Porch Save 10. I'm just going to simply click on the tab for the shopping cart that I had open and I'm going to proceed to checkout. On the checkout screen, I can double check my order details, my address and payment methods selected on the previous screen, and then I have the opportunity to place my order. However, if I would like to utilize the coupon code that I had selected, I would need to apply coupon code by clicking this button and then entering the code in this box. When I click the apply button, I can see that the coupon is in fact applied to this purchase. When I scroll back to the top, I can see that the discount has been calculated. And from here, I can simply place my order. On this page, we can see that we have placed our order and now we can begin the download process. There are actually multiple ways that you can access your files for download after your order is completed. The first way is to click on the View Your Digital Files Now link on the Thanks for Your Order window. By clicking on that link, I am taken directly to my download page with each of the individual download files for each of the items that I purchased. Please notice that there are multiple files available under each of the purchased items. The second method would be to use the email that I received under my account settings that we verified earlier. To access my files, I would simply scroll down under the confirmation section and click view your files on Etsy. Again, I am taken directly to my download page. This email is available as a guest checkout, but please note that if you do not keep track of this email, you will not have future access to these download files. In order to ensure that you have access for all future downloads, please be sure that you are using an actual Etsy account prior to making your purchases. Assuming that I did create an Etsy account prior to making my purchases, I can now go to my account information and I can select the Purchases and Reviews option. Within the Purchases and Reviews, I can see each of my individual orders as they are sectioned off from each other within the list. In my most recent order, I have multiple files in one order. That single order provides me with a Download Files button. By clicking this button, I can again see all of the individual download files for each product that I purchased within the entire order of all four products. To continue the download portion of this tutorial, I would like to use an item that I purchased previously. To access that file, again, I will go to my account information and my purchases and reviews. Here, I'm gonna scroll past the order that we just made to my previous purchase, and I'm going to click the Download Files option. Within this single product, I have multiple downloads, and I will need to click each download link to receive those files. As I click each download link, I can see that the files are moving to the bottom of my browser window in my download strip. I will click each download link. The final file I'm clicking is a different file type, which is why I selected this particular product. I have multiple PDF files, and I also have a zip file that we will be discussing later. Along the bottom of our window, we have our downloaded files. In order to move these files to my computer, I can simply click and drag the file 
to my desktop. If I would like to organize my files better, I can create a new folder anywhere on my computer. I'm going to call it My Porch Prints. And I'm going to move the files into that folder. Another area that our files can be accessed once they've been downloaded, on this browser window, I have these three dots that allow me to access my options that include a download tab. In that download tab, I can see all of the files that I've downloaded on this browser. Today I have these five files, and again, I can simply drag those across to my computer. If I would like to see all the files on my computer that I've downloaded, I can click one of these show and folder links, and that will actually bring up my downloads folder on my PC that contains all the files I've ever downloaded. Now these files can be moved out of this folder. If I move them, the file will not reside in this folder any longer but I can also copy them out by right-clicking, dragging it over to the location, and selecting the Copy Here option. Then I have the file in both locations if I would ever like to access it again from my Downloads folder in case I deleted it. As I mentioned earlier, one of the file types that we downloaded was a zip file. We can see our zip icon here. Again, on our download page, we can see that we had a file type that ended in .zip, and the file that we copied over to our desktop also has this zippered folder icon. The reason that this is a zipped file is that it contains multiple JPEGs of the pages within the kit. By double clicking on this folder, I can see that there are multiple files inside of that zipped folder. In order to use these files, I'll want to take them out of the zipped folder because most programs will not allow you to use files if they are still inside of a zipped folder. To do this, I will simply create a new folder on top of the desktop. And I'll want to pull these files out of the zipped folder and put them in the regular folder on my desktop. Once they've moved out of that folder, I can open the new folder and see that my JPEG files are now inside of this regular folder. In order to avoid confusion, I will probably want to delete the zipped file or move it to a different location. I would now like to walk through the process for how to download your digital files on a mobile device. Unfortunately, I don't have an Android phone, so we will be using an iPhone for this example today. It's important to remember that you cannot use the Etsy mobile app to download your digital files, and you must use a standard web browser, such as Safari. Now we will go into our account settings, similar to what we did on the PC, and we will look for our email address, again, to verify that we're in the correct account. Now again, we will go to our purchases in order to access our digital files. You'll click on the product that you want to download scroll down and you'll see the download files option that you will have to select to access your downloads. Again, you'll have multiple downloads if there are multiple downloads in this product. Here we have our three downloads, so we'll click each download in order to download that particular file within the kit. Now we're downloading the third item. Now one way to access your downloads is to look for the download icon at the top right hand corner of the screen. This will bring up a list of your download files and you can click on one in order to see the preview. Once you're looking at the preview, you have the send icon, which will then open your print options. You can print the file by selecting print, then choose your printer. And from here you have the print button at the top right of the screen, which will print your file on the device that you've selected. In addition to printing 
directly from your downloads folder. I would like to show you how I download them on my iPhone and how I store them for future access. First we'll go back to our purchases section and find a file that we would like to download. We'll click on that file and we'll scroll down. You'll have a downloads button at the bottom or near the bottom and you can click that or you can scroll back up and click the download files button at the top. Here we can see the files within our downloads for that particular product. There are multiple files to download. We will simply click a download button on one of those items. And you can see in this document there are multiple pages. There were actually 10 pages in this particular file. We can scroll down through and print the individual pages. Here we'll click our send button, then look for our save to files option. We have multiple places we can save either on our cloud or on our phone directly. I have some folders already set up so I will navigate down through that folder structure to be able to save that to my device. Now if I go into my files folder on my phone I can see that I have the document downloading. You can actually see the numbers as it's downloading. Then we can go into the cloud drive and navigate to that folder manually. Again, we can open it from our device. We can print directly from here. We also have the ability to organize our files for future reference within the folder. In this particular folder, I have the Pansies document as well as some French receipts. I already have a folder created there, but we'll create another folder simply by pressing and holding within the open space. That brings up a blank folder. I'm going to name it Flowers so that I can move my Pansies file into that folder. Here I simply click and hold. It allows me to move it. I'll drop it into that Flowers folder. Now I clicked on that flower folder so I can see what's inside. Now your experience may be different depending on the device and browser that you are using, but the process should be similar and with a little research you should be able to download and access your purchases from the My Porch Prints shop on Etsy. We hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial today and happy crafting!